Here we are entering dry dock on the first day and taking a final walk along the gunnels before the water drains. Almost there. Here we get our first glimpse of the boat out of the water. We already knew it was in a pretty good condition from the survey, but it was great to see it with our own eyes. Right, second day of dry dock. We paid to get the boat blacked in dry dock, so they spent much of the second morning preparing the underneath. When we brought the boat, it was called Toverston, but we decided it was time for a change. Although the dry dock would be doing the work themselves, we decided to make the most of our time there and get stuck in. We started by sanding down all of the areas that would then be painted. This went long into the night. We had to get a bit of work done on the boat, and by a bit I mean... And eventually, we could start painting. With the barnacle scraped off, it is almost time to apply the bitumen paint. But look, something's missing. By this point, it was really starting to come together. You don't know how long it took to peel this off. A joint effort. That's enough of that. We applied a few layers of interdeck to the gunnels, which is an anti-slip paint from International. We'll leave a link to all the paints in the description. I spent eight hours in total hand-painting the letters on the back of the boat, and if you follow us on Instagram, you might already know what it says. Thank you for watching our first boat vlog. Leave a comment below and press that subscribe button. We're a family of three living aboard our boat full time with our young daughter and a cat named Pat. Don't forget that you can find us on Instagram at the Liverboard family. Follow along with the movements and improvements of our boat. We hope you enjoy the journey as much as we do.